What is up everybody? Welcome back to Alt Knots. I almost went to bed without doing this video. Like I completely forgot about doing the recap for the week of all the Halloween goodies that I've been finding. There was some excellent stuff this week. And if you were out there, you already know Bath and Body Works, this was their week. They dropped all of their Halloween themed goodies, really like body wash, spritzer, candles, hand sanitizers. I made sure that I was up, got in line, waited for them to open because you know that that stuff's gonna be on, right? It doesn't hang around very long and it, not even for the day that it's actually released. They had a bunch of really, really cool scents. I actually brought my bag from last year. It's reflective and it also glows in the dark. And I was really, really hoping that this is something they do every year. I didn't know last year was the first time that I snagged this and I was like, oh, this is the perfect size for a notion bag. It is. It has my Halloween decor hunting cardigan that I'm working on. This just honestly is a permanent thing that's in my car now. This year they did have another bag and it's a little bit bigger too. Like genuinely, at first I didn't see it and they only had two available at any of the stores. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, they it was kind of hidden. It was behind some of the soaps. There's this tag that says, I glow in the dark or glow in the dark and reflective says right on the tag. That tag was also hidden. So I wasn't sure if this did. So I had to do like the little squint test. And I'm like, yes, it totally does. I was thinking I was gonna have to use the other bag. So I took all that yarn out and brought the bag in to Bath and Body Works. Now that I look back on it, I was in Bath and Body Works for such a long time, basically just doing a figure eight because there was a stand in front. So you walked in, it's a spooky season has arrived. And I was like, yes, this is fantastic. Just got really amped about it. Walked around probably a couple times around the first table. The human that was showing me where everything was at was like, there is also another table. Let me bring you back there. That one had all the candles, the hand sanitizers. Oh gosh, there was just so much stuff on there. The really cool things like pillars that hold the candles. Those are always amazing. I love seeing those. The eyeball one was fantastic. They had the skull that lights up from last year. They had quite a few of those. Some of the things that were really, really cool, they had amazing plugins this year. A lot of their plugins, you plug them in and then when you turn them on, they changed. So there's a hand holding an apple and it's hand holding an apple. That's cool. But when you plug it in and flip the switch, on there's a skull that shows that was fantastic the main thing that I went into Bath and Body Works for was hand soap that's what I get every single year and I just stock up for the entire year I'm not even exaggerating last year I got marshmallow candy corn and was absolutely obsessed with it so I was a little bit sad that they weren't bringing that one back I loved the bottle it was a black bottle and it had black cobwebs on it and it smelled exactly like marshmallow and candy corn just a ton of sugar it was fantastic but sadly they didn't bring it back so I really didn't know what scent I was gonna get they had a new line and I obviously had to try all of them and a lot of them were very candy or sugar based oh, I don't even remember what it's called I gotta pull it up now the pink bottle the black bottle and the purple bottle stardust magic enchanted candy potion sugared spell those were the three new ones that I hadn't smelled yet and I was curious to to see if any of them were close to like the marshmallow candy corn. The human that was helping me out was incredibly kind and also very, very excited for all of the Halloween stuff to be back. So had a ton of those strips for me to go ahead and sample smell. I guess everything since I was there right when they opened up there was only about like one or two people in the store at any given moment so I was glad that I actually did go right away in the morning and I didn't wait until later in the day because as soon as I was done which I was there for quite a while as I was walking out there was quite a few people that were walking through I sampled all of the new ones the one that I liked the best was the enchanted candy is that what it is why can't I remember enchanted candy potion. That's the one that I like the most. The thing that I didn't like is I didn't enjoy the bottle because it was a pastel pink and I just felt like it wasn't it wasn't gonna go with the decor for my kitchen or my bathroom wherever I have any hand soap so I was bummed about that I really wanted to like the stardust magic did not enjoy that one it smelled like caramel with I don't even know how to explain it it, it just wasn't for me and then the sugared spell was okay but it had like a alcohol type of undertone to it I think the problem was that 
that I was comparing it to the marshmallow candy corn and so none of them were living up to what I really really wanted. They all were just different than what I wanted. So I should have just like scrapped that from my brain, told myself before I went there like hey we have to choose a different one, it's okay. I X'd all of those out, walked back to the table that had some of the scents from last year. So the ghoul friend, the perfect pumpkin, and was the other one? Vampire Blood. That table was full of that. So it had the candles, it had the hand wash, it had pretty much everything. They had like the bath bombs. I've actually never got a bath bomb from Bath and Body Works. Let me know if you have and if they're awesome. I would, I'm curious. The candles looked super cool this year. Pumpkin carving, that was probably my favorite. And then a very, very close second was the Vampire Blood candle. The scent that I decided to go with for this year is Vampire Blood. It's just so hard to pass up. I love the look of it. I love the blood red type of soap in here with the black pump and how it has the red foil reflection on it. Bathroom, kitchen, honestly, it literally looks amazing and goes with everything. My kitchen theme is slasher again this year, so this is gonna go perfect with it. Haven't decided the theme for my bathroom yet. I need to get on that. But whatever it is, it's gonna go perfect with it. And also, it does smell amazing. So I got a combination. I got some of the foam and then I got some of the gel. This bag just has all of the foam. So even though I'm sad that the marshmallow candy corn is not a thing this year, I'm very happy with this one. The last thing I got from there is the witch hand holder. Way too cute to leave. It was one of the things that I saw in their preview that they had a few weeks ago and immediately wanted it. It's just so freaking cute. Got the enchanted candy potion as the antibacterial hand gel that goes inside and it clips right in here. Oh, I'll show that first. That's what that one looks like. I liked this one so much better. So I liked the scent of this and I like the packaging on this one a lot better than the other one. The hand soap with the enchanted candy was pink. This one's just clear with a black top. I don't know. I just preferred this one better. It goes in here, but it clicks in too and it's super secure. Has the awesome little clasp that's gonna go immediately onto my bag right away. I got quite a few of these. I found a home goods this week that had really amazing stuff, and I feel like it always works that way. As soon as Bath & Body Works releases all of their Halloween stuff, every single store follows suit. They are letting everybody know, put your Halloween stuff out now, it is time. Maybe not, it's just how it seems like it works. But this was a totally different home goods. Had not been to this one yet this year and I'm so freaking glad that I stopped. I almost drove right by because there was one that was I don't even know, it was like 15 minutes away from it that I had already stopped at and they really didn't have that much. They just had some garland. I think there was like a mug, a Nightmare Before Christmas mug, but that's something that I'd seen out all year round so it wasn't anything new. I honestly didn't even take any footage there because there just wasn't anything. But at last minute, decided to go in, walked through and was not disappointed. Immediately going through the doors on the right hand side, they had a ton of Halloween stuff, all stocked up, three shelves of it, ready to go so I knew I was gonna be in for some good stuff in the back if this stuff was already right in the front of the store. Yeah, it was pure excitement.
there was one thing that I absolutely had to grab and as soon as I spotted it I started speed walking through the store like someone was gonna take it like read my mind that I wanted that direct thing there was a stack of seven of them I mean I'm not even lying there were so many of them but I just was like oh my gosh they're gonna go out I'm gonna I'm gonna miss it I'm going to miss it so speed walking up to it and the funny thing is as soon as I got to that aisle there was a human that walked behind me did a deep sigh and little like oh, it's too early for Halloween and I thought yes this is fantastic keep walking yes it is oh yeah so early keep walking don't look at any of the stuff just go come back later in October when we've all sifted through everything this is what I spotted it is a lazy Susan bamboo and it is a spider web it's cut in a spider web it has this awesome spider in the middle if you set it on the table like it's supposed to it spins Though this is amazing for what it's actually supposed to be for, kitchen, I don't know, you put salt and pepper on it, you can put food on it. I don't really know what people use Lazy Susans for on the day to day. What I have in mind, if it works, I'm really, really excited about it. So TBD, I have some parts that I ordered that will be coming in very soon. We'll be going down to the shop to kind of like put some things together on this. The next time you see this, it should hopefully look different and be yarn related. It already could be yarn related. I mean, you could put this in your yarn dungeon and stack up like cake of yarn, stack it on here. And then if you're working on a project, okay. I like that idea. Just thought about that, but I kind of like that idea. The very first at home I went to, it was right across the street from Home Goods and Bath and Body Works. This one had nothing. Hadn't been to this one yet, just thought I would try because I'd been to two other ones that had at least a little bit of something. This one had absolutely nothing. Like they still had an entire two or three rows of 4th of July stuff. Was not happy with that, but what are you gonna do? I went all the way back, drove past my house to go to the other at home that I know already has stuff and was just kind of hoping that they would have something new and they totally did. The first thing that I fell in love with was a ceramic tree that was made out of skulls and topped off with a black bat. The whole thing lit up. I'm not entirely sure if it was a strobe light or if it was just like a solid color light or white light. I have no idea. It just said that it lights up. The demo wasn't working. The thing that I had to bring home because I was just shook that it was absolutely perfect to hold all of my crochet hooks because I'm looking to change this up for every single season. So this entire Halloween decor hunting season, I'm looking for things to hold the hooks, stands for my hooks. We're just changing everything up. Literally anything that looks like a pencil holder width, size, length, that type of container. I'm not gonna lie, I bring a crochet hook with me in my bag whenever I travel just to see if the container will fit that size because there's a lot of different cauldrons and skulls that are designed to hold pencils this time of year. And this one, I'm not entirely sure what it was designed for, but is going to be absolutely perfect. Tiny cauldrons and they have this cross and bone skull on it. I grabbed a lot of them. This is all I can hold in my hand right now. They were $1.99. This is from the Creepy Curiosities line from At Home, which I don't think I've bought anything else from any other line at that store. Since I grabbed so many of these, I think I'm gonna play around with these charms. I don't mind this one. It's very Halloween, but I feel like I could pull these off because you just pull this part off. It's a little bit of elastic. That's it, that's all that it is. Then you just wrap it back around. Oh, I think it goes around twice. 
and then there you go it's back on what I was thinking is I could use some of my stitch markers and attach it onto this elastic that way every single one of these tiny cauldrons have a little bit of different personality to them maybe make them match the hooks that are inside let me grab some hooks to show you what it looks like Prella Deville I feel like it's appropriate to put these in here and I have some coffee ones yeah let's mix it up when I display them I'm gonna put a little bit of some random yarn that I have so it doesn't click on the bottom too much or like risk chipping them because this is glass and I want to be as kind to my hooks as possible two four six seven I think we can get eight in here yes we could probably get nine maybe no eight is the max look how freaking cute that is i'm just obsessed with it we're still in summer ween i might change it up oh if i have some of my i'll pull some of my slime green stitch markers change these up i'm not entirely sure what you would even use these for if not for crochet hooks i really don't know oh use with a t light i get it now that makes total sense my head just immediately thinks yarn or crochet or hooks or anything in the yarn dungeon I'm like what do you even use this for like it was designed for crochet obviously so if you want to use it for that or mix and match one has a candle some has some hooks I do have baby candles too they're LED battery operated I could mix them up all throughout here I don't know that they would show too much this is really thickly painted I'll have to try it out at least one store that I went to that wasn't even on my list and was totally random that I stopped in here in the first place was Barnes and Nobles. I love getting a coffee, searching through some of the horror books, headed to the back of the crochet section just to see if there was any new books or anything that they'd come out with. I saw this purple box that looked very Nightmare Before Christmas, Hocus Pocus type of color. Got a little closer, saw Nightmare Before Christmas right underneath that crochet kit needed to know nothing more grabbed it headed to the checkout line like I was done I was done I wanted to go home I wanted to unbox this thing and get started I had no idea that this was gonna be released this week which was so bizarre I have already busted it open and I'm starting to work on it actually one of the dolls is almost completely done so I don't have the complete thing to show you but I have the box and I have the book out the whole kit comes with everything that you need in order to make Jack and Sally there are 12 different characters that you make. I'm obsessed with the mayor and the tall hat. And yes, the mayor is two-faced. You can only see the one here, but when you get to the book, you do a different face on the opposite side. So his whole body can just be turned around. To say that I'm obsessed, I don't even know what else to say, except for that I'm obsessed. There is a wall hanging too. So right here, there's a wall hanging. You crochet this up and then Jack and Sally are embroidered on there. I, I don't know, I might do a patch, I might do something differently because I've never done freehand embroidery like that and to make it look like this iconic characters, I don't know. I'll try it, it's definitely worth going for it at least once, but I am gonna have a backup for that. So all of that you make from this kit because you get this book that comes with it, the ultimate spooky crochet book right here. Honestly, this book in and of itself is worth what this entire kit was. I am gonna do an entire video just of this, so don't worry if you wanna see all the details of everything that came out of here. That will be an entirely separate video and the making of both of Jack and Sally, that will be there. I just had to show you in case you also didn't know about this and you wanna get your hands on this because this is something that I know is gonna sell out. First and foremost, the fact that it has the Nightmare Before Christmas collaborating with it, it just opens up to so many Many other people not just crocheters there are a ton of people that collect everything nightmare before Christmas regardless of what it is people will just buy this as decor or have it to display somewhere and not even use anything that's in it I'm not even gonna lie I would love to have another one of these that has everything in here sitting on my shelf in the yarn dungeon that would look fantastic I would totally be one of those people I'm only saying this because if you want to get one of these to actually crochet it up and work through all the characters and have these for Halloween, definitely put it on your radar super 
sooner rather than later because the audience that this is going to appeal to is just so much greater than just crocheters. There are incredible tips and tricks in the front before you even get to any of the pages of the characters. All of the ones that you need in order to make your own little Nightmare Before Christmas crochet village, which is totally what I'm planning on doing. I figured everything out and in order to get it done before October, because I would love to have it before the first of October, I need to work up one doll per week and then I should be good. I started off with Sally, which looked like it was gonna be the hardest because there was just a lot of moving pieces. The patchwork dress, the different colors, the stitching everywhere. That looked like it was gonna be the hardest, so I started there and I feel like everything else is just gonna not be quite as time consuming. I don't know, I could be totally wrong. Nightmare Before Christmas, crochet, again, I don't really need to say anything more. And if you're here hanging out with me in the yarn dungeon, I feel like you're definitely in the same position as me. You love it, you're here, you want more of it. I seriously hope that this kit does well so they do even more spooky stuff or Halloween themed type of crochet kits. I would be all over that. Like I said, this was probably my favorite week so far. But this was just next level. It really was. Make sure that you do check online at your Barnes and Nobles if you're heading there before you get there so you're not like super disappointed if they don't actually have it in stock. Had I known about this, I definitely would have had this shipped to my house. If you are as excited about this as I am at, let me know which one you would work up first. Like if you had all the yarn and you were ready to go, which one would you do first? The reason I started with Sally is because I had the yarn. It came with it, it was all ready to go. But if you had everything, which character would you absolutely have to work up first? I am actually gonna start working on this again. I said I was gonna go to bed, lies. I'm excited, I'm all pumped and ready to go again. That's kind of what's been happening this whole week every time I talk about this kit. I'm gonna go back and work on Jack, get that done so I can have my amazing Nightmare Before Christmas village ready to go for the yarn dungeon for Halloween. But thank you for hanging out with me and checking out all the amazing Halloween goodies that I found throughout the week. Have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.